the sickest point in my life and where I was at that point and how it impacted me in pretty much every organ system in my body. And honestly, I still believe that is all by design. Stress and sickness can actually impact everything. And if you have been there, then you know exactly what I mean. From your, from your relationships, to your finances, your career, your social life, and the list goes on, right? And we all know that it can show up as an imbalance in a lot of different areas of our lives, different, different systems, right? Some people gain weight. Some people get sick in their immune system. Um, some people have hormone imbalance. But I want you to know that I'm telling you this story today with purpose because I've experienced pain in almost every organ system in my body. I was on a ton of medications and the only other solution they offered me at one point was to cut me open on an operating table. So here's what happened. I went on a mission to heal my body naturally. And it's because I was really tired of hearing the same message over and over from doctors who needed to throw another medication at me to try to put out another fire. I was just over it. And I realized that everything I needed to heal my body was placed on this earth. And all it really took was knowledge to access the right information. And once I started living more of a holistic lifestyle, my symptoms disappeared for 10 years. So I really did kind of shout that to the rooftops over and over again. You know, it really became kind of a point of pride for me. And I felt like I had been 100% healed and I thought, oh my gosh, I, am I ever going to get sick again? And that all happened even recently until my recent illness. And you can probably guess what it was. It impacted me in a lot of different ways. And that's what I want to share with you today. I've been really silent about the topic in general, and it's, it's prop, I guess it's because, you know, there are so many polarizing viewpoints, and I didn't want to get distracted by that. I feel like you're either on one side or you're on the other side, and I'm kind of like, you know, just ride the middle sometimes, right? But my, my illness impacted me so deeply, and I just feel like there's some things that I want to tell you. They are kind of like lessons learned for me. So if you've been around me for some time, then you know that my message is one of longevity. I believe that you don't have to get sick before you die and that you can live in health to really any, any age, right? And we get to choose that. But when it comes to longevity, I want to tell you another side of that story. And that's that it's easy to fall off the straight and narrow path. And that's exactly what I did. Over the last few months, I compromised in a few areas of my life. And for a moment, I really forgot that everything matters when it comes to your health. I preached it to my clients, but sometimes I was falling off the wagon a little bit more than I'd like to admit. And here are some of the ways. Every time you allow stress to creep in, then it's going to cause a problem. If you're eating something that doesn't agree with your stomach, if you don't put yourself first, if you forget to set those clear boundaries, and I know a lot of this is mindset stuff, or if you lose your grounding, just in general, all those things are impacting you in your life. They are impacting you in your health. And I have to say that it's not just a one and done. And that's what mistakes so many people make. They're like, what supplement can I take? What pill can I take? What can I do for this? And they want a pill and they want it to be done. But the truth is, is that you have to do the right things every day, day in and out for your health if you want to live in health. So every time I experienced a symptom in my body, like through the years, if I had a headache, I would remember those past imbalances, right? I would remember those migraines that would last sometimes a month or longer with no relief. Panic, fear, sleepless nights, they used to consume me. That was when I was going through perimenopause at the ripe old age of my mid-20s, right? And that dictated how I showed up every single day. I was reminded of a lot of those things the past month and getting sick again has impacted me not only physically but also emotionally and spiritually and not only negatively but I want to share with you some of the positive sides to that story. My fever actually lasted 17 days without a, without a break and I actually had a friend who sent me a wet sock therapy treatment and I was able to do that and break the fever after three nights of doing it. So I had a lot of upper respiratory stuff that was affecting my quality of life. I wasn't able to show up how I wanted to in life. And 
I hate to tell you this, but I was even living on anti-inflammatory medication. And it destroys your gut. I know I preached that message, but I went there. And unfortunately, it was because of the symptoms that I was experiencing. I felt like I had to rely on those medications some days to get me through the day. But I am grateful for a lot of the tools and resources that I had stashed in the back of my mind. The things that I teach my clients on a regular basis when they go through my program, those are the things I was pulling out of my arsenal. And I'm, I'm hoping that I don't have to use those, right? But unfortunately, recently I did. So great news is I'm on the tail end of this illness, but that doesn't negate the fact that I've watched people die from the very same illness. And it's been heartbreaking for me. It's been heartbreaking for me to experience the symptoms in my own life. But I have learned some really good lessons and that's what I wanna share with you today. That's really the point of this. Number one thing that I learned was compassion. My compassion for my clients is stronger than it's been in a very long time. And I think it's because I remember what it feels like to be sick. After 10 years, it's really easy to forget. And it's, you know, it's, it's easy to forget what those aches and pains really feel like. And I know that a lot of my clients are living with those symptoms on a daily basis. I remember catching every illness that would come around and I know that this is exactly how a lot of my clients and a lot of my readers and people that listen and follow me are actually living their life every day with headaches, sleepless nights. I remember having to get up in the middle of the night and change my clothes. I mentioned being in, in menopause, having menopausal symptoms in my late twenties. I would have to get up in the middle of the night and change my clothes. I forgot those days until I ran that fever for 17 days, but I remembered it. I remembered exactly how it felt. And I've been reminded of all these unpleasant times and the fact that my clients come to me because they are currently experiencing these very same symptoms in their lives. But most importantly, I'm reminded that you are the reason that I chose this career path because I want you to experience everything that this world, this world has to offer. The second thing I learned by getting this illness is that I've experienced so much gratitude for the support that I do have. I would walk every morning and express gratitude. Gratitude for my health, the things that I was experiencing in a positive way, my husband, for God. And through this, I can tell you that I've met the right people at the right time. People have just showed up into my life to help me get things done. I have the right consultants on board who have helped me continue my business without me. It's been able to run seamlessly. I've had new clients walk in my door that walked in at a time when I couldn't even mark it. I've had breaks in my schedule. I've had cancellations of appointments. Everything literally worked out. And I realized at that moment that the God of this magnificent universe was holding me. That every day we run around and we try to make things happen. We try to put those puzzle pieces together and it should be simple. I realized that life should be simple. And in this gratitude, I just feel more compelled to help people find wholeness in their health. The last thing I wanna share with you that my illness taught me is simplicity. You know, I failed in so many ways to see that the simplicity of life is actually there for us. I can walk outside now and hear the birds singing to me. And I think that sometimes I just push that to, to the side like, oh, it's the birds, but truly it's the birds. <laughs> and when I see a deer, I, I appreciate the deer for being in my presence. And once again, I can literally feel and see and sense those blades of grass glowing, growing next to me and see the green and the beauty in it. And I'm so grateful for the seasons of life that give us those types of things. And I can see the abundance of the universe all around me, knowing that everything that I need is there for me exactly when I need it. And more than anything, I want you to see the simplicity and grace in your life as well through this message. Because when you appreciate even the smallest things, you can live a fuller life than you ever imagined. And I'm in a really different place spiritually, and I think it's because I got sick. And I'm here. I'm ready. I'm back. 
and I'm still recovering. I'll tell you that. I'll be honest. I have those days where I have moments of brain fog and um, I'm just asking for grace for my clients. I'm trying to be really transparent when I'm talking to people because sometimes the words don't come out really clearly. I'm actually having one of the best days I've had so far. So I want you to know I'm here. I'm ready. I'm back. I'm stronger than ever post recovery. I can feel my energy coming back in. And this is one of the greatest lessons. And I fully expect the abundance in my health, my business, my clients, my relationships, my free time, definitely going to be getting in my free time. I promise you more of that is coming for me because you know what? That's what I deserve. And the truth is, is you deserve it too. You deserve the freedom that health can bring you. And I can truly say that I'm grateful that I can experience this and be on the other side. And I'm grateful to share my experience with you. And it doesn't matter if you've been sick or not, because together I know that we can experience healing. And I'm so glad that God has given me the ability to see illness the way that I have and to find that place of gratitude, compassion, and simplicity through it all. So this message is not one that I thought I would ever share with you. I never dreamed of getting sick again. And I'm sharing it today with you in full transparency because I think it's something that you need to hear. I think you need to hear where I fell off track. I think you need to hear um, how we can experience gratitude and that there's hope even in sickness. There's hope in living a life free of sickness and disease. And I want to invite you today, if, if you're ready to go on a journey to take your health to the next level, I'm ready to help you. So make sure that you message me and let's schedule some time. You know, my recent illness impacted me and it has reignited my passion for guiding you to health. If you're not ready to commit, that's okay. I totally understand that as well. But I do have a group you can join. It's called Love Yourself to Health with Chelsea. I do free challenges. I teach you about health. It's a community that I love to use to encourage and really just give back. And it's very resourceful. So if you want to jump in there, please do that. Either way, I invite you to open up yourself to better health because I know that when you do, you will live a life greater than you could ever imagine. I hope you guys have an amazing evening and we'll talk to you soon.